Welcome to another episode of SEIU Says Don't Touch That Dial. Today's show is brought to you by SEIU GWC. This show is about union members and the communities they live in. GWC is Goldberg Weissman Cairo, Illinois' largest personal injury and workers' compensation law firm. If you would like more information on GWC, you can call SEIU, the Member Resource Center, at 312-588-7630. That number, once again, is 312-588-7630. We have another announcement to make. The Human Services Town Hall Meeting is coming up on Friday, February the 21st, 2014, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at St. Ida Parish at 1220 West Catapila Avenue, Chicago. That's Friday, February the 21st, 2014, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at St. Ida Parish, 1220 West Catapila Avenue. We're going to send blast emails out to all the members in regards to this. You all can come out. Basically, for this meeting, we're, call we're calling community activists, social service workers, legislators, we will all, they will all come together to discuss important issues to workers, their clients, and families. Topics to be discussed will be passing legislation bills to give communities care providers a raise, revising harmful cuts to Medicaid and important social services, fixing problems created by the Department of Human Services reorganization. So that date for that show, um, I'm sorry, the date for that event will be February, Friday, I'm sorry, February, Friday, the two February, <laughs> FF. <laughs> February, Friday, the 21st. And um, actually, we're going to have a guy that's uh, facilitating that uh, event next week on the show, uh, Paul Siegel. So he definitely will be here and he'll be able to give us some interesting information about that. So who mad about pinches? It's showdown time in Springfield. That's right. Showdown in Springfield to save our pensions. That's going to be on February the 19th. And SEIU Local 73 has buses. And if you got a big mouth and you want to be heard, then come on down. The buses will leave the local at 7 a.m. And um, we want to get those buses filled up. So we, we need it. We want a strong. We want to send a strong, powerful message. I want to get a, a bigger picture. This is when we go down. We go down in Springfield. And so hope, hopefully everybody can see that. So that number, um, if you are interested in reserving your spot on the bus, that number is 312-588-7630. That number, once again, will be 312-588-7630. And that's Showdown in Springfield. The name of this campaign is We Are One. And we have someone here to talk about uh, pension. Okay, in recognition to Black History Month, um, we always like to get, do a little segment out, and we always dedicate Black History Month on this show, people that we like to use, as people that stood out in the labor movement. Now, the individual that I'm about to bring forward, um, not only did she stand out in the labor movement, but she also stood out in the civil rights movement. So we're going to have a two-minute segment by none other than Dr. Maya Angelou. technical problems here so we're going to go back to the showdown in Springfield one second here okay so while we're getting that problem worked out here so we have in the house today is well as we know Tio Hardiman is running for governor um, for the wonderful state of Illinois yes. and he has <clears throat> a running mate and I tell you this woman is a magnificent orator I've just met her but you know how you had those connections you meet somebody you feel like you've been knowing them forever <laughs> her spirit is magnificent her integrity is great and her voice is powerful if Illinois needs a lion a roaring lion for justice this definitely is the individual and she's running for lieutenant governor and 
I would like you to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm attorney Brunel Donald. I am a Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor. I am T.O. Hardiman's running mate. He, who is running for governor? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to ask, we want to ask you a few little questions here. Sure. Um, as we know, a lot of you all may not know about T.O. Hardiman's record. Um, he was, uh, he was the head of an end the violence program in, um, it, it was Chicago. It was called a uh, ceasefire. And during his duration, he was able to bring in $50 million for that, uh, That's right. that organization. And not only that, T.O. Hardiman was able to not just organize 10 blocks, 35 blocks, 50 blocks, but hundreds of blocks. Yeah. He got them together to create block clubs and it just not only spilled in one particular geographic part of Chicago, but it was all over. So he was able to break down the walls of race, That's break right. down the walls of economics. That's right. He was able to merge people together, to come together for the common goal, which Illinois needed was to cease the fire, you know, stop killing each other. So you know those bumper stickers and those those posters that you see, stop yes. killing people, then it unfortunately shows the faces of statistics, the face of this horrible atrocity that is facing Illinois. Yes. T.O. Hardiman was a part of that, and he definitely demonstrated organization skills for that. So, um, I like I'll, to ask... Yeah. I have to tell you this. T.O. Hardiman was the, the director of Ceasefire Illinois, meaning okay. he was responsible for the entire state. Okay. So when you hear people say that T.O. Hardiman is little known or, you know, not much of a challenge or his name isn't, his recognition of his name is not um, out there, that's not true. T.O. Hardiman was up and down this state for almost 15 years of his life, and there's not one place we have gone on the campaign trail that people didn't know who he was. White, black, Hispanic, didn't matter who it was. They know T.O. Hardiman. Okay, and you all said you shook hands all down the All state. up and down this state four times at least now. Jacksonville, Decatur, Peoria, mm -hmm. um, Cook County, Waukegan. We've been everywhere mm -hmm. uh, shaking hands with at least over three to four hundred thousand people mm -hmm. we have reached uh, out just physically talking mm -hmm. to and getting to you know know them and understand what their plight is and mm -hmm. what what all of our plights are in mm -hmm. the state mm -hmm. actually so uh we have been on the ground since august okay don't let anybody fool you and trick mm -hmm. you and tell you that we just woke up yesterday and decided to start campaigning we have been campaigning since august we have uh met people that transcends color uh age Everything. We mm -hmm. have, have uh, shaken so many hands. We have um, heard so many cries, seen so many tears, people breaking down. We've seen it all. You're an attorney, too. Yes, I am. I'm right. a lawyer. I okay. was a former Cook County public defender mm -hmm. and also a former Cook County state's attorney. Mm -hmm. I'm in private practice right now. I'm mm -hmm. working class just like the people we're standing up for. Okay. So, um... I've seen, I've seen you on TV. You try some serious cases. <laughs> yeah. You know, I it, that's my thing. You know, even in my practice, I take cases that other lawyers don't want. They don't mm -hmm. want those cases because the people don't have enough money and things like that. And sometimes I even take cases to a detriment because... Sometimes you, it can't always be about the money. There are mm -hmm. people really fighting cases where they're really innocent and they don't have the money. Mm -hmm. And so I've actually taken many times cases mm -hmm. where there was no money and uh, fought and won. Some mm -hmm. of them, you don't win everyone, but most mm -hmm. of them I win. Mm -hmm. Well, I personally think that you're qualified for the Thank job. Thank you so yes. much, no, sir. Really. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I saw the interviews and I know um, just working for the union, um, representing people, when you represent someone, it that that it takes a special type of person to not only just go through all the things um, you have to represent the person thoroughly. Absolutely, that you have to be skilled in seeing the cracks, how they slip through the cracks, That's and right. seeing the corruption and seeing the domino effect that it has. Yes, and I think that with a lot of things that's going on in um, the state of Illinois, a lot of situations have slipped through the crack and unfortunately has caused a domino effect such as the rise in taxes yes. and the pension yes. that you need someone skilled to um, catch those things and watch them. But also too you got to remember T.O. and I both I was union as a Cook County public defender so okay. I know the power and the value of union mm -hmm. as well as T.O. Hardiman when he first started out I think it was Newark, Newark Electronics or whatever mm -hmm. he was working there he was union mm -hmm. so we know the power of the union and the importance mm -hmm. of the union. Mm -hmm. um, frankly when I learned that uh, the governor, Pat Quinn, had signed this reform, mm -hmm. alleged reform, mm -hmm. 
I knew instantly that it was unconstitutional mm -hmm. because we know the state um, constitution gives you the right to have your pension. That it, it's, it's a meeting of the mind. It's a mm -hmm. contract. Mm -hmm. And when we imagine we come to the table and I say, I'm going to pay you at the end of your life mm -hmm. $500,000 or at the end of your work life, um, I'm going to pay you $500,000. And then I decide, oh, because people are giving me a push and, you know, stressing me and squeezing me. Oh, no, I'll, I'll give you a. Uh, one hundred fifty thousand. How do you what 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 kind of contract? What kind of meeting of the minds was that? You know, I was broken when I found out that retirees. We've had older people who are retired, scared. They're crying. They can't even sleep. They don't have peace because this governor has sold them out. Mm -hmm. And then you got working class people who mm -hmm. ha, who can't sleep because we have a governor that will not stand up for us. Look at what happened with those two thousand teachers. Mm -hmm. Look at what happened with the school closings, 50 school closings. Mm -hmm. Now, people are going to say, oh, well, Rahm Emanuel did that. He's the mayor of Chicago. You know, uh, he does. He has a home rule, you know. But the point is, you're the governor of the state. Mm -hmm. If you're not in agreement with what someone is doing in your state, mm -hmm. you're going to be out there marching, even if you don't have that decision making power. Mm -hmm. You're going to be out there marching with those teachers, mm -hmm. marching with those parents, mm -hmm. letting them know that you are concerned, that you are hurting for them, that you feel them them mm -hmm. but the problem is we have people in office who don't feel for the people mm -hmm. they are busy making them doing their 2 a.m deals nine o'clock deals selling the whole state out mm -hmm. and the people who are working like you and i mm -hmm. are the ones that bear the brunt mm -hmm. we're the ones who pay the cost mm -hmm. we're the ones whose backs mm -hmm. the mismanagement and the problems are carried out on mm -hmm. we're the ones that are carrying the state mm -hmm. so Imagine my surprise when well, I I've hear... I've been having back pains. Oh, yes. My back is killing me, too. I'm telling you. And imagine. Okay. I'm broken to know that there are even unions out there. How low in spirit and mind and, and integrity and decency do you have to be for a governor to sign a bill that bothers your pension? He has slapped you in the face, kicked you in the teeth, slapped you some more, blacked out. The only one that's done domestic violence in this state is Pat Quinn. He has done a serious job of domestic violence on this state. Now, look, we got an 8.7 unemployment. That's mm -hmm. a black eye. Mm -hmm. We got middle class women who were middle class are now mm -hmm. in poverty living in their cars. Mm -hmm. We've got 9.92 percent. Let's mm -hmm. just go here. This is just tragic right here. Okay. 92% of young black males in Illinois between 16 and 19 are unemployed. Mm -hmm. Unemployed. And want to work. You know, you see them standing on the corner. That's because there's no jobs. Mm -hmm. And the killer is 88% of the unemployed young black males are right here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Right here in Chicago. So, like I said, there are a lot of issues going on. We got a governor that's committing all kind of domestic battery on this state. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants to talk about it. People want to give him a pass. He has failed the people, failed the poor, failed the working class, failed the students and the farmers and the retirees. Mm -hmm. And it's like a teacher. Mm -hmm. taking the failing student in the classroom and saying, this is a student I want everybody to hold up as an example of how to be a great failure. And everybody saying, no, that, that, that just does not work. We need fresh blood and new leadership, sir. We need people in office that care, that are not robots, who are not for sale. T.O. Hardiman and Brunel Donald are not for sale. And that is why people are not endorsing us. And I'm so happy they're not endorsing us. Because we always knew from the very beginning that we wanted the endorsement of the people. The poor people. The working class. The homeless. The, the forgotten about. The mentally ill. All the people that don't have a voice and that are feeling hopeless. Mm -hmm. So we, we want the endorsement of the people mm -hmm. and we want to shock the world on March 18th, mm -hmm. 2014 and early vo voting starts March 3rd. We want to shock the world and let them know that the poor, the working class, the farmers, the students, blacks, whites, we will not take it anymore. We want our state back and we don't have to have billions of dollars to run. All we have to do is be Americans and live in Illinois. And as long as you can do that, you can run too. Okay. We have a caller. Yes. Caller. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you today? This is SEIU I'm Says. Fine Great. Thank you. You have a you question? Have a question? Yes. My question is 
how can I personally get myself involved with the rising up fight that we are facing as far as our government and the way that they are treating us? You know what? It we we have been getting we actually have over thousands of volunteers on our campaign people who have stepped up and said you know what i will not be stepped on i will not be spit on you will not take my tax dollars and then slap me in the face we have a website that you can go to at www.hardiman h-a-r-d-i-m-a-n for illinois.com again that's www.hardiman for illinois.com and when you sign up there as a volunteer we're going to put you to work very quickly at saving not just yourself but your family the other poor and working class people in the state we need people like you to step up and say enough is enough yes yes because my thing is i am a home care aide myself and I am already signed up with the union, with SEIU, as well as my mother. And we have already kind of, my mother will actually have been down to Springfield in one of the, the um, you know, the fights and everything that was going on. Yes. So I just want to, myself personally, be involved because enough is enough. Yes, you know, that's the thing. See, what has happened is they think that... You know, because you're poor and you're in a working class that you can't be a leader. Just because somebody makes millions and billions of dollars does not mean that they're a leader. It doesn't mean that you're a leader. And then also we have to talk about these pastors and elected officials who have sold us all out. Have sold us all out. Getting 30 shekels of silver this morning, I'm understanding. Uh, <laughs> got together this morning at a certain restaurant. I'm not even going to name names. And sold us all out. Everybody trying to get their shekels. That's why we as the people in the working class have to do our research on the candidates. Stop letting people brainwash you into uh, voting for people who don't have your community in, in their hearts. They don't care. So please get involved. Again, www.hardimanforillinois.com. We'd love to have you. Okay. Thank you very much, caller. Thank you for calling. We, we have another caller. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm blessed. How are you? I'm very well. I really thank you for... Just what you're standing for and what you stand for, I appreciate you so much for that. Because uh, I'm a hard-working woman myself. Amen. And I am very concerned about my pension. Amen. Mm -hmm. I need my money. Yes. I need my money. Yes, and you need to have a person in leadership that will stand up for you. T.L. Hardiman, they want to talk all the smack they want to talk about him, but that man is a man of his word. Like we were, t I was telling people, he raised that $50 million for the state of Illinois. He wasn't even appointed to do that. He wasn't even elected to do that. I'm sorry. He was appointed to raise to, to, to that program, and he raised $50 million in a 10-year period. He uh, hired ex-offenders. He, he was over a $10 million budget. So this is a person who has executive experience. And he is a person who hired all races, okay? He's a man of his yeah. word. And he's the kind of person, if he tells you, look, we're not going to touch your pension. I don't care what deal they come with. I'm not going to cut deals. He's not a deal-cutting type of candidate. He's a gubernatorial candidate with dignity and is a man of his word. And that is why they are hiding us in the media. That's why they're blocking, because they know he's qualified. He's qualified. Your pension is important to us, ma'am. We are hurting for you. We hurt for you. And that's why we are in this race still. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I appreciate that young man sitting next to you yes. on this talk show. Thank you so much, young man. I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you, and God bless you and your family. Okay, I want to go to the overhead really fast. Um, <clears throat> we have an event coming up. Um, it's a community organized to win. It, um, SEIU Local 73 is Meet the Candidates Forum. And the date of this event will be Saturday, March the 1st, 2014, from 12 noon to 3 p.m., located at the House of Hope. That's at 752 East 114th Street in Chicago. Um, we have the, the featured moderator for, the, for that event will be Professor 
um, Dorian T. Warren from Columbia University, and also he's an MSNBC political correspondent. Um, we'll have uh, political panelists there, and you should definitely come out. And so it's going to be really nice, and you guys are going to be there. Hey! Right? Yeah, y'all yes. yeah, are going to be there. We, yes. So we yes. definitely want you to come out. That is March the 1st. Um, if you have any further questions, and we actually, we have people that are interested possibly going to Springfield as well, uh, get a pen. That number is 312-588-7630. That number, once again, is 312-588-7630. What qualifies you to run a multi-billion dollar empire such well, as the state of Illinois? I will tell you this. I'm always pumping this candidate, Tio Hardiman. I, I'm crazy <laughs> about him because he's a man of the people. But I'll just repeat it again and let you know that he raised money. Out of mm -hmm. nowhere. He took a, mm -hmm. a, a program that nobody wanted that was on the heels of being dead mm -hmm. and he took it from zero dollars to fifty million dollars. He also was over a budget of ten million dollars mm -hmm. every year. So if there was any mismanagement or any issue with T.O. Hardiman's executive skills or abilities, mm -hmm. we know the alphabet people which would be the FBI, would have already <laughs> been down his throat bugging mm -hmm. him and he'd have been indicted already. Mm -hmm. So we know that he is definitely able to manage money. He's able to transcend race, mm -hmm. color, gender mm -hmm. in order to effectuate and make sure that um, we're all taken care of. So I would say that also a vision for us running the state is this. We want to see our state not broken. We want to see the state healed. We want to see people who are now homeless in homes. We want to see people who are unemployed working. We want to see women who are on welfare out there now working and, and being entrepreneurs. We want to see those 92% African-American young males between 16 and 19 that are unemployed in Illinois. And the 88%, either. you got the poor whites. That's what people don't get. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of poor white people, a lot of poor Hispanic people, but the 92% is the African-American male. Mm -hmm. the, it, that is the most disadvantaged. That's why mm -hmm. that number is ringing. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. T.O. Hardiman and I are not selling out our blackness to be governor and lieutenant governor. Okay. We are black people, and the black people are struggling just like the working class, the poor people, the poor whites, the poor Hispanics. We're standing for everyone. Don't get me mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. But what I don't want to do is forget who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's mm -hmm. what happens. A lot of our officials, once they get our black vote, they then forget about our communities. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to reassure all communities. We're mm -hmm. not going to forget about you. Mm -hmm. So we, this candidate, T.O. Hardiman, is definitely qualified to deal with multi-billion dollars because he's already dealt with multi-millions. Wow, okay. we have. Yes. A lot. I want to touch on, we have a minute left for the show, but uh, what I, I found interesting was you were actually a ward of the state. Yes. Um, I saw my mother murdered when I was 10 years old. She was stabbed 31 times to death, and I ended up becoming a ward of the state. I was in two foster placements before I was 18 years old. I left a group home at 18 with a bag, a trunk, and a dream to become a lawyer. I uh, was homeless a lot in college at Northern Illinois University. I graduated there with, in a political, with a political science science degree, went on to John Marshall Law School, passed the bar the first time, and as you know, worked as a Cook County Public Defender mm -hmm. and Assistant State's Attorney. Mm -hmm. So, we're people who have who know what it's like to be hungry. You're proactive. That's right. I know how it feels when you gotta choose mm -hmm. between gas and mm -hmm. food. Okay. So, you're not dealing with people who have forgotten. Okay. We really enjoyed you, and they have so much more that they definitely want to say, and there's so many people that need yes. to hear the message. So once again, we ask that you come on out Saturday, March the 1st, where there will be other panelists, um, political panelists, as well as state representatives. Um, we'll be there that night, so you definitely want to come out. So we're going to wrap up today, so we'll be here, same bat time, same bat channel. Get out there and vote. Next week, and red late registration is uh February the 18th. Early, yeah, late registration, February 18th. You need to be registered to vote March 3rd. Early voting starts. And the Democratic primary on March the 18th, 2014. We expect to see you there so we can shock the world. The poor, the working class, the farmers, the students, the disenfranchised, the hopeless, the broken. We are ready for you. And that's SEIU says. We thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Punch 11.